the fourth part of the duodenum will be discussed and its relations as we can see from this diagram that the fourth part of the duodenum is the last part of the duodenum this is the fourth part of the duodenum and it is also the shortest part of the duodenum and then it forms the duodenum jejunal junction and also the duodenal jejunal flexor as it will actually flexor is any point in the intestine whether it is the small or the large intestine where the turning of the intestine occurs so here it will turn to merge with the jejunum so it will form the duodeno jejunal flexor this one and also it will form the duodeno jejunal junction so anteriorly in this diagram you should not be confused with this structures as this portion is the third part and only this is showing the fourth part of the duodenum so the fourth part of the duodenum anteriorly has transverse colon transverse transverse colon also the root of mesentery actually the transverse colon is attached to the posterior abdominal wall with the help of transverse mesocolon so anteriorly transverse colon will be present which is shown in this green structure and also the transverse mesocolon will be shown will be present and also anteriorly coils of these are the coils of jejunum they will also be present posteriorly posteriorly we have the aorta and also the left sauce major muscle aorta and the left sauce major muscle so these were the relations but before ending the video there is another important point which should be discussed that is ligament of troitz as we can see that this is almost a free part this fourth part is almost a free part so it must be attached to some other structure so in this diagram it is shown that it is a, that it is attached to the right crust of the diaphragm with the help of ligament of troitz this is the right crust of diaphragm and this is the fourth part of the duodenum and this is the ligament of troitz which is connecting the fourth part of the duodenum to the right crust of diaphragm thank you